Welcome, Namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's Clinic. In this video, we're going to discuss on a very, very common topic asked by a lot of youngsters: how to keep your penis clean. So, on the question, on you know, on asking the question on how to keep your penis clean, it really depends on whether your penis is circumcised or whether it's uncircumcised. So, if you quickly look at the image on the right, a circumcised penis is that penis which basically does not have what's called as the foreskin, which is basically a, a two-layer fold of skin which covers the organ, and an uncircumcised penis is that penis which actually has the foreskin. So the image on the right, you know, clearly differentiate the difference between what's a circumcised penis as well as an uncircumcised penis. Now, circumcision is basically, you know, a procedure where, you know, for cultural region or religious reasons or, you know, other reasons otherwise, you know, the foreskin is usually removed, usually at birth or, you know, in some instances, you know, after puberty or, you know, even later into adulthood. Now, in individuals where the penis is circumcised, that is where there is, you know, no foreskin at all, basic penile hygiene, is you know nothing to worry about because all they have to do is you know bath one or two times a day and just rub the organ wash the organ and that's about it right it's not much difficulty with you know maintaining your penile hygiene especially in the cases where the penis is circumcised however in the event your penis is uncircumcised and where you have a foreskin what's very important to remember and also bear in mind is again if you look at the image on the right the foreskin basically contains uh, basically contains you know the secretions of the foreskin basically is made up of bacterial cells dead cells epithelial cells Ketonized cells and you know a lot of debris, you know, it forms a whitish cheesy material that usually dries on the organ, which and this is called a sphegma, right? It's a cheesy white material, sebaceous material, it has a foul smelling odor as well. So basically what happens is you know if you if you have an uncircumcised penis, what basically happens, you have to clean your penis, you know, by gently retracting the skin over, exposing the glands, and you know, if you look at the image, exposing the glands, and you know, cleaning it, you know, all around, You're cleaning the pink tip that's you know which is visible on the top. And you have to clean it with, you know, using using a mild soap which doesn't contain any detergent or irritants or perfume based soap. A gentle soap, you know, gentle wash for about 20 to 30 seconds at the time of bath uh, or one time in the morning. Ideally, I would recommend cleaning your penis twice a day, once in the morning as well as once in the evening because the whitish cheese sebaceous material, you know, the cheesy material, you know, it's basically full of dead cells, epithelial cells, bacteria. And, you know, smegma, you know, you know, there are studies, there are some studies which have, you know, actually suggested that, you know, it's the secretion of the foreskin which also, you know, results in the transmission of STDs, bacterial infections from you to your partner, especially in the context if you have been in, you know, relationship, previous relationship with other women or men, you know, there's a risk of, you know, transmissions, you know. So cleaning, keeping that particular region clean, you know, having a circumcision in general is not only good for penile hygiene, in general, it's a very, very good hygienic practice to follow as well as bear in mind. And not just that, what basically happens is some people, you know, uh, you know, are unable to retract the foreskin. And in these instances, you know, if you notice that when you take the foreskin back, you have pain, uh, don't don't pull it back because what will happen is the foreskin will come back, get caught up behind and you'll have swelling. And that's called, uh, you know, a parahymosis and you don't want that, right? So if the foreskin is painful to retract pain, what I would recommend is don't try to clean your organ. Get a circumcision done because that's the only thing you can do where the foreskin is basically tight. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, you know, short video on how to clean your penis. I recommend cleaning your penis twice a day, once in the morning once in the night and using a simple, you know, a soap, simple soap, a simple detergent, you know, not even a detergent, a very simple soap, right, right? which is not, not irritating, you know, it should not irritate your organ, you should not have, you know, burning sensation after cleaning, but twice a day, it's a definite must, with this, because the, you know, the advantages are, you know, numerous, one, it's good for you, it's good for your partner, it's good for your overall sexual health, smegma is, you know, infectious material, STDs also get transmitted in smegmatic secretions, and, you know, there's also a lower risk of penile cancer and, you know, in individuals who actually undergo a circumcision. So circumcision itself is a very good uh, thing that you can do for your penile hygiene. So there are numerous, numerous health benefits of you know, keeping that region clean. On a bonus tip, you should also clean, you know, your balls, your testicular region because that contains a lot of sweat glands. So cleaning that region as well as cleaning the, you know, the uh, anal region, you know, the surrounding anal region, you know, cleaning overall, you know, that whole region, you know, maintain your private parts, spick and span. That's the best thing I could tell you. So maintain, maintain your hygiene. It's good for you. It's good for your partner. I hope you like this video. Please comment, like and subscribe and share this video with all your friends. And that was just educational material. And I'll come back with many, many more such videos. And I'll see you soon in the next video. This is Dr. Shah signing off for now. Vanakam and Namaste.